Hello, everybody, and welcome to another action-packed episode of Vector Crush. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the blob brush in Adobe Illustrator CS4. The blob, the blob. I'm sorry, I grew up in the black and white movie era, so, you know, that's how the movie used to jam back in the day with that cool music, you know, so, all right, I'm done. All right. Here's the blob brush in Illustrator CS4, and it has a really cool icon. What this tool will allow you to do is to draw artwork in ways that you weren't able to really do before. For example, here's the regular brush. I'm going to increase my point size here for the stroke, and I'm going to just draw a line like so. As you can see, well, let me go ahead and put that stroke on there. Sorry about that. As you see here, when I click on it, we have a line that's in the center of this stroke. So if I want to, let's say, make this end thicker or thicker in the middle, I can't, even if I grab the direct selection tool to do it. All I can do is reshape it, and it's not really going to help me out. But if I want to be able to create something that has a thick and thin line, and be able to manipulate it with the direct selection tool, I have to use the blob brush. And no, I'm not going to do the music again. Maybe. So here's the blob brush. And I'm going to draw that same exact type of stroke with this tool. Now grab my direct selection tool. And when I click on the edge, look what happens. I don't have a line in the center. What I have are editable points that I can click and drag and change the shape of my line. Oh yeah, it's magic. Oh, oh, it's magic. I said I wouldn't sing again. Actually, I said I wouldn't sing that music from earlier, so I lied kinda. But as you can see, this tool allows you to create very interesting shapes that simply weren't possible before. But wait, there is more. The blob brush is smart enough to connect these lines together with anything new that I draw on top of them. For example, I'll grab my regular old paintbrush again, and I'll draw a stroke like this on top of the blob brush stroke. And when I grab my selection tool, you'll notice that I have two separate paths, this path and the blob path. Let me undo both of those. And I'll grab my blob brush this time, and I'm going to draw that same path in between this shape. And when I click on the selection tool, they're connected. So I'm able to use the blob brush to do some very, very fancy stuff. So I'll grab my blob brush again, and I'm going to increase the size of this stroke. So let me go ahead and grab my blob brush, and I'm going to paint like so. And once again, when I grab my direct selection tool, I even have an editable path on this thin line that now sits on top of the original. So I can move these guys around, I can scale them, rotate them, and even change the color. So as you can see here, all that stuff. So that is a little primer for you guys on the new blob brush that lives in Adobe Illustrator CS4. Until next time. This is Hunter Wolf signing off. So check out some other tutorials that I do at the VTC.com website. You can learn Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and so, so much more. Because you know what, folks? I may not be a smart man, but I know what software is.